Hello, everybody, and welcome to Floor Planner. My name is Bob, and as I always say, I'm here for customer success. I'm here for you all to now supply you with new information about last month's updates uh, that have been added to the Floor Planner platform for the month of November 2022. We have um, five updates. It's been a busy month, so we have lots of information to cover. Let's see if we can breeze through them for you. Let's uh, start by, of course, reminding you, where can you find these updates that happen automatically inside your platform? Um, number one, if you hit the profile tab in the upper left-hand corner, there's four squares up there. It tells you, of course, all about your uh, identification of your account over here. But also on the right-hand side, there's a listing over here of the new features. And if you hit the more button up there, where it says more, you can actually see the list of um, all the previous updates that have occurred. Um, and the most current as of prior to November um, that we looked at last time was certainly the better mobile support, um, working with smaller screens and making it even uh, more visible. So they're actually able to function within Floor Planner and a, a smaller monitor. Um, but we've got five new items to talk about today. So let's talk about one of them, which is going to be the product variants and style boards. Hope you've had a chance to actually explore style boards. Um, and also there is a room style indicator in the room type menu. Um, this is a little bit more dedicated to customization of your room type sets uh, for pro account subscriptions and higher. Um, but this is a really cool feature. We'll explain that a little bit better. We have a lot of information to talk about with the Floor Scanner app that's available through Floor Planner to actually gather and capture as-built dimensions um, of your room and your spaces and have uh, an immediate 3D model created for you. Um, also, there are new color indicators when you're looking at the sides of your walls, um, so you don't have to toggle back and forth and understand if something was actually applied to the other side of the wall. And then, of course, uh, a little bit more information about Floor Scanner, um, talking about magic layouts and room styles that can be applied <laughs> Right while you're working in your app on your device, as you're capturing the room, you can actually assign a room collection to that room and have it populate inside the floor planner project model. So let's get started. Let's uh, go ahead and address the room style boards um, and the style board to talk about the variants um of different materials that can be added so let's actually go into my floor planner account to show you this live and we'll go over here on the left hand side you'll see that you have your style board button over here one two three down here on the left hand side and here's some style boards that i've created so here's one i'm going to use as my example for right now these are mood boards you know similar to what you've been able to create with other software that's out there uh, for slideshow presentations but yet now you can do it you know within floor planner itself so opening up the style board the new feature that we want to talk about today is the fact that you can change if there's a color changes, material changes available for the item, um, you can actually not only change it in your model, of course, but you can also change it in your style board presentation board. So like this sofa up here, we could go ahead and select it in the style board presentation. And of course, you know, you can change since we have the 3D model, how wonderful that you can change, you know, what angle you want to be presenting this item. What's the best way you want to showcase it in your style board? Yet, if there are variants available to you, they're going to be available to you over here also. So changing out the material is uh, totally available to you while you're working in this style board presentation. Um, this particular item actually has uh, a couple different materials on it. So it has the fabric material to change. This also has a finish change for the leg that you can come in here and actually modify the colorization on your model on the finishes of your leaks on here also. So uh, really, really cool future features that uh, will give you this additional power to 
make your more authentic uh, Stomboard representation. Hope you have a chance to actually play with that a little bit more. Stomboards are still um, a work in pro progress. There's a, there's a lot of additional uh, features yet to be revealed. So let's keep an eye on this. This is uh, really, really a cool feature. Um, let's move forward and get to our next item in our updates. room style indicator for room type menu so let's actually go into my projects again for a second and we'll exit out of the style board and we'll go ahead and go into my projects let's just open up one project that we've got out there now of course i was tracing a background i'll type my b key on my keyboard to turn off my background and i've got a little blank room over here that needs to have a a room style, room type identified to it, and a room style identified to it. So as a pro account or higher, um, you can go ahead and create a room type set, which is uh, for like a house uh, to go ahead and make a living room, dining room, except you can change the terminology on those. You can also change the color codes. Uh, there's a default set of color identifiers for those room types. And you can also create room styles to be associated inside your room type set. Uh, room styles are collections of furniture or the flooring material and the wall material and specific items of furniture for a collection um, that can be assigned to an empty room. So that being said, if you go over here and you go to the eye over here on the left hand side, you'll see there's the room type set of room type. So if we, identify a set of room type. Um, house is a default with inside floor planner. We all have access to this. Yet uh, as being an enterprise account myself, higher than a pro account, I created a new room type set. And uh, so instead of just going with the default house, I'm gonna go down to one I created, Bob V New. And inside Bob V New, I made a uh, living room style that I actually assigned a room style, a collection of furniture to. And you, the, the cool thing about this right now, it's actually called Living Bob down here, and you can see it down here. So that's the newest feature is the fact that for those of us that are creating new custom room type sets and applying room styles to them, now they're being noted over here. So you can actually see which room style or what room style you've created has been assigned to that particular room type. And then you can just take this and you can actually drag it into an empty room space and it'll assign it to that room. So now the room type and the room style that's associated with that room type has been deposited into that room. So I can select that room and you can see that they're all identified over here. And then we can just go ahead and hit magic layout and run the magic layout with the living Bob room style assigned to it and let it run. And there's only one piece of furniture in that collection, but uh, that's how it gets applied. But mainly wanted you to see that you could actually see that indicator now in your collections. So it's not just the room type, it actually shows the room style also listed in there. Let's back up for a second, take a peek at our updates list again, see if that's where this is showcasing now, not just the room type, but also the room type style, this room style that's been assigned. And we'll hold floor scanner to the very end, but let's talk about the color indicators for the walls. Okay, so now we've added some, some small indicators. Yep, small indicators uh, that helps you identify what's on the other side of the wall so you don't have to click on it so many times. And that's pretty simple. We'll just go back to that same project we were looking at. And I believe we have a wall color assigned down here. Well, it's assigned to both sides of the wall right now. So this is stating by these color codes up here, you don't have to toggle between one and two to see what's on each side. Um, so if we want to just take a second, let's just change that out for a moment and maybe go into our paints for a second and maybe assign a different color. Just prove this, we'll take this color and we'll assign it to this side of the wall over here. So now we have two different colors assigned, different sides of the wall. Select that wall again, and you can see up here in an abbreviated way, these uh, additional indicators. 
so you can see what color or what materials assigned to which side of that wall. Um, that's a, a new feature, which I think will give us a, a little bit of ease when we're actually trying to determine uh, which side of the wall we're actually working on. So beyond that, let's go ahead and go back and we're going to start talking now for the number three and number four of these updates. And let's talk about floor scanner. Um, there's some new advances in floor scanner. I mean, floor, floor scanner came out months ago, and we've had some opportunities to take advantage of some of the systems that have uh, come out um, through the iOS system with Apple. And so uh, let's just read this off. We, we've integrated the new Apple Room Plan API into the latest version of our floor scanner app. This means that you, our basic rooms, room scans can now not only be free, but also in real time, capturing a room and turn it into a full editable floor planner project. Um, now it takes about a minute, um, very, very quick. And we continue to offer our more advanced scans for more complex rooms. But this free offering um, is with uh, a one room scan. Um, really, really cool new technology. I'm going to show you a live demo on this in just a second, but we'll just go ahead and hop up to the last item that we're also going to be covering at the same time is the magic layout. Floor scanner. So not only can you scan the room for free, um, one single room, uh, and capture it, but once the room's captured, um, you can actually, remember we talked about these room style collections of furnishings and materials can actually be assigned while you're doing the scan right into the model and populate the room also. So let's go ahead and take a peek at this. I do have a video clip that I think is going to be a little bit easier to understand. So let's go ahead and hop into that for a second. Right here. Okay, so I'm going to run this little demo for you. Now it's really important as floor scanner is today, uh, although the programmers are working on some advancements uh, to make this more accessible with other mobile devices. Right now it functions with the iPhone 12, 13, 14 Pro versions and also the iPad Pro versions. Um, because there is a, a LiDAR scanner device that's a small little black dot on here that's specific to those models of phones. Uh, again, the programmers are working uh, diligently to work with other types of phones and mobile devices, but for right now, this is how it will be functioning currently. The floor scanner app is uh, free, um, and you want to certainly, when you set up your floor scanner, app, you want to make sure that you associate it with your same email address that is your user email address for your floor planner account so that they're totally linked. Um, I went ahead and made a video, uh, actual video of my actual phone screen while I was conducting uh, an actual scan so you can see what this looks like. So when I open my app, this is the first page that comes up. Let me start running this for a second. And we'll stop there. So it's about my account, my credits that I have, but most importantly, right here where it says single room for free, it's a free scan. Pretty awesome. One room free scan as unlimited, as many rooms as you want to go ahead and create, but one room at a time. Um, so we go for the single room free, which is what I've just selected. And it will start up. It says, hey, hit the start scanning button down there. And sure enough, you just start pointing your camera around the room and your room is being calculated very, very fast. Um, the ceiling heights, the floor heights, you don't have to move anything in the room. You can just turn around inside the room and just move your camera around and you can see it capturing um, all the information that it needs to go ahead and start building the model. And you can see the model being created actually on the bottom of the screen. Um, I actually repeated myself just a little bit. I kind of captured the room once and just kind of kept going around the room going, this is I'm having such a good time. Um, so I probably spent a little bit more time than I needed to because I was pretty confident that I really did capture the room. And then you get a preview of what that model looks like, what it just captured. And this is real time. There's no 
advancing all this. And you say it's great, so it says it looks great, or rescan it if you needed to. And once you go ahead and say it looks great and we captured it, um, you're actually going into your floor planner model uh, on your device, on your phone. And in viewing it, you can see that, yeah, you're actually looking at the 3D model that's immediately been created. And you can scroll around and take a peek at what you just scanned, uh, which is really cool. And you can view that in 2D. You can view that in 2D wireframe, black frame, uh, black line on white, or with the materials. And then you can actually create, you know, actually assign what type of room is this and to find a room style. Now we talked about the collections of furnishings. Um, so this was a bedroom that we scanned. Um, and maybe I want to repopulate that room. I just put this on pause for a second. Um, repopulate that room to be a home office instead, you know, with everybody working from home these days. So if we go ahead and keep running this, you'll see, you know, we can go through what type of room possibly could we change this room from a bedroom to something else and say, well, maybe I want it to be um, a home office. So pick the home office. And assigns home office. Well, there's some room styles collections that have been assigned to that room room type, and so I change it to home office. And then there's a magic layout button, and it populates the room for you. So I took all of the bedroom furniture out of there and repopulated it based on the room style that I selected as a collection that was predetermined, and took the room that was already pre-measured uh, by its scan and populated it with a totally different collection. Um, this is the, the beauty of the, the magic layout feature that you can now take advantage of while you're actually in the Floor Scanner app. This project also is waiting for you back in your Floor Planner account. So as soon as, as, soon as you log back into your Floor Planner account, it'll actually be in there waiting for you. Um, take a peek at my account just for a second, going back. My projects. And in my projects, and there it is. This is the exact same scan that I did previously to conduct that model for you. And, uh, and opening it up, I haven't really done anything to this ever since I originally scanned it and did the magic layout function in the floor scanner app. So it's it's been deposited and waiting for me here. And from here, I can make modifications. I can you know change anything in its collection, um, continue the decor on it. Um, really, really awesome feature to, you know, from room capture through floor scanner straight away to the floor planner project itself. Um, those are our five features for today. Sorry, I got a little long-winded about it. I get a little overexcited about it, but um, tons of great information. I hope you have the opportunity to explore Floor Scanner as soon as possible. Do keep an eye open for any of the new updates that may be coming out regarding Floor Scanner's development to be working with other devices. But for right now, we're talking 12, 13, 14 Pro iPhone or uh, iPads. Uh, again, appreciate your time today, and I look forward to seeing you at our next recording and updates. Have a great day. Thanks.